In this video, I'm going to talk about my experience being a top 500 player in this Naruto game, and that game is Naruto Storm Connections. I'm going to show you a bunch of ranked fights here, guys, against strong players and interesting players and not so strong players. And yeah, we're doing a Fly Rajin level 2 here, double Flying Rajin level 2 against a strong player. Super cool. We punished Ishiki's Kick Jitsu here. We're ranked 427 in the world, and I'm ranked 200 and something in North America, which is even better. So good stuff. Good stuff, good stuff, good stuff. So this guy has almost 40,000 BP. I got to talk about this. This is the only playable game I ever had against this guy. Every other game was not playable. He has a very weird and very odd play style where he substitutes, he or she substitutes everything and somehow gets priority on everything and is there somehow before you are. Did you see that reset? That was an insane reset where they could grab afterwards. And this should never happen. That that has actually never happened. It could be Hagaromo physics, but I don't think so. A lot of weird things happen when I played this person. Like, even this is kind of weird, right? But um, a lot of weird things happen. Like, he can just walk... They can just walk around, right? And get to places before I can do things. So they can basically get two to three actions per minute more than me. Um multiply multipliers right i'm not just talking about one or two actions i'm talking about like look at that like the game just freezes on these really weird times and this is a that was amazing wow look at that damage the crossfire on Matarasu. now that's something to talk about that it could just be the game it could just be this really odd phenomenon that happens but there's a certain set of players that this kind of happens to but there's a couple of them like this person where like, look at that. They just go in, they can double dash before I can even jump to the side and land on the ground. Like, that's what it feels like. Even here, like, I was supposed to rebound already being, been at him, but he already goes back. And then the game freezes at these really odd times, right? So, in the past, a lot of times, people would say that this person potentially was a leg switcher. Someone who's cheating using a leg switch, right? And it's possible that they are, but I can't prove that, so it is what it is. But that's what it feels like, you know. And there definitely are some people that do leg switch. There's another person that it's just crazy. But to me, I mean, I kind of joked around and said this is kind of like a luxury leg switch. See, they just walk up to you and do, like, absolutely everything for free, you know. And, like, that wasn't even a safe grab. But I think they just, they're so used to getting it that they they just win and the, this is my problem is okay like i'm having this experience with this person right but like they have a lot of bp so they're doing this to a lot of people that's the amazing reset did you see that reset look at the damage reset look at the damage reset yeah you didn't want to get hit by that huh look look in these opportune moments just as they're getting up where i could actually get like i should already be in comb comboing to ultimate and beat them right but Look at, they're just walking around the map and then I lose the round? Are you kidding me? That's impossible. Like, did you see how I could not get to them? Like, if you watch any of my other videos, right? The, the good connection videos or even the playable ones that are bad connection, I would have combo to ultimate him and it would be over. So this is why I really believe this person is a leg switcher, regardless of what they say, because they can show you their setup or whatever. It doesn't matter. You can move it. You can change the setup. I, I wouldn't believe them. I literally wouldn't believe them. I'm 95% convinced that this person is a leg switcher, but like I said, maybe they're not, and maybe I can't prove it. It's a horrible thing to put on someone, but it's even more horrible to experience this, these fake leggy losses. You know what I mean? But we're going to somehow fight through it this one time and we're going to actually get him. My issue is, is like, what win or lose, I don't really care, right? Like, I know I'm talking about the rank and all that, but I'm talking about the rank because I think the skill is there. And I'm talking about the rank because I think that, you know, in past videos that I uploaded recently of top 500 minutes of gameplay and all that and stuff I will be uploading in the future as well. I think there's a lot of skill, even in this video, like the resets like where I got them to defend just for those few frames, you know? And look at this. Look at this. It's like the leg kicks in. It's like, what? The, were they slow on the leg switch, bro? Like, it's so crazy. I, I just even know. I don't even know. Like playing this person, like the experience of playing this person drives me insane. And I know that they're not more skilled than me. 
right? I know they're not more skilled than me. I know they're not a better player. They are a very good player, but they substitute everything and then instantly just dash you. There's no top player that does that. That's very poor substitution control, you know? And then there's people like this Bloodhorn person who I get because of my ranking in my MMR, my matchmaking rating, I beat this person 20 times in the last three days, okay? 20 times. And they beat me zero times even in lag because they're not a lag switcher, okay? And we have good connection. Whatever it is, we have good connection between us. But they refuse to accept defeat. They refuse to give anyone any kind of battle points ever. So not only did I beat him or them or whoever they are 20 times, okay? In the last three days, they never beat me once. On top of that, I got no BP. On top of that, they have usually like a 99 game win streak. And on top of that, it got to the point where an hour and 22 minutes, okay, I counted. I was keeping, it was about an hour and 22 minutes, an hour and a half, a little less than an hour and a half, okay? I kept getting matched with this person over and over and over and over and over again. Like literally they leave the lobby. They has, there's a way to like leave the game and come back that they know how to do that. I don't do that. Like, I don't know how to do that. I usually just close the app or whatever. They just kept coming back in my, my lobby for an hour and 22 minutes straight. No other players. And part of that is because, okay, I'm on 30 frames per second, but not really. There's still a lot of people playing, but the game won't let me play those people because of my matchmaking rating, okay? I used to think there was maybe like only 10 different ELOs or something, but that's not true. There has to be at least 30 to 100, maybe more. At least 30 to 100, right? So where if I'm in ELO 27, I'll never play anyone in ELO 23 and lower. I'll never play anyone in ELO 29 or higher. Do you know what I mean? Like you're in a very narrow elo now this is another guy where dude the worst games ever the worst leg ever potential leg switcher i'm just gonna say it if he's not i don't know what this guy's doing but these bars are always blue and it's always like a freaking red bar he leaves on me i leave on him and it has nothing to do with leaving right it's nothing to do with rage quitting because none of us are raging right like, I'm never raging when I when I play him, right? Like, if I leave, I leave because, like, look, like, he should not have me in a combo. My character doesn't dash properly. When I press chakra dash, chakra and then, and then X to dash, the X doesn't input and I just stand there and then I get hit for free. Time, time, time in and again, right? It's so weird. Um, the game is so freaking weird. You know, most of the games are not like this. Most of the games are good and they're playable. Like that first fight, I really should have showed you. I showed you in a different fight with the uh, first Tishiki player. I just showed you the highlight because I thought that was a really cool uh, highlight that I did. But that guy it was leg free. And if there's a little leg, that's fine. If there's a moderate amount of leg, that's playable. But it, it gets to a point, right, where you lose a certain amount of frames and it's unplayable. Now... Either that's just a teeter-totter leg, right? Where one person is having it more than the other. Or very, very rarely, most likely not. But probably don't put it past these people because it's always happened in the community in the past as well. Where people leg switched. They leg switched you. Where they created a leg for you and not for them. It's very, very weird. Very, very weird. So like here, like what? I can't do anything absolutely nothing and then see so yeah he troll spins and then does he leave yeah i think he leaves so like this is just kind of what it comes down to bitter grudges uh bitter experiences that was an amazing jail by the way somehow we got it no maybe he doesn't leave let me see it is so bad playing this guy. I do have a really good set with him that I will show probably eventually if I can find it. We did have a really good playable leggy set. And that's kind of what it comes down to is... Um, yeah, okay. So he didn't leave here, but he left in a couple other games. That's fine. It's just really weird. And then you have this guy. I think he had a 99 game win streak. He, he couldn't... He could never get a 99 game win streak with the skill level that he has. He has to get better at the game. So, like, you're playing people like this, right, that are just 
they even if even though he was at like seventeen thousand BP or something, that guy probably couldn't get to ten or twelve or thirteen thousand BP. Impossible with his skill level. Like he is good, but he's nowhere near as good as he needs to be to even get to. I would say fifteen thousand. He would be hard stuck under fifteen thousand. Like he just is bad at the game in terms of. He's good at having certain fundamentals be good at the game, but then a lot of his other fundamentals are bad. Like, there's no leg in this game, okay? In this in this set, it's a real blue bar. I can see that they're moving well. They're just being punished because they're just mindlessly dashing in. And I think that's the problem, right? Like, look at this. I'm just going to body this person. I think they're just going to rage quit, right? The per Like, these people just mindlessly dash in, and I think it's because... Uh, the lag and the frame rate drop in this game creates problems where it creates bad habits for players where they use option selects and broken characters only and broken teams only. And that's why people tend to only use broken supports in connections and storm four, because this kind of lag happens. And what they say is it's a skill issue, meaning they're saying just use an option select of a broken character and just use meta teams and then you'll be fine. But that's not skill. That's just using a broken character that may work have leg resistance right and is almost leg proof or close to leg proof and they're saying just do that and let everyone else be you know use other characters that aren't good in leg and just farm them which is that that is the furthest thing from from skill right is it a knowledge check knowledge check yes it is and then there's guys like this who <clears throat> I liked him. I didn't. I didn't like. I did not like this person. But I was very confused from him because he has a meta team, right? With Karen and Kabuto poison and Karen perfume poison and then Taya, but he doesn't use it in a meta way. And maybe he was just kind of like nervous, or or who knows, right? But like, does this person deserve twenty six thousand BP? Maybe I don't know when they got that BP. That's the other thing. This game needs to have seasons because even though I'm ranked 420 something, 426 and 200 and something in the world, I'm definitely ranked much, much, much higher than that. I'm definitely a top 50 player currently right now in this season. A hundred percent. Like it's not even, I would say top 20, top 25, a hundred percent. But I have to fight all these weird situations of people that literally have no skill and that are just leaving at the end of the match or leaving during the match sorry they leave during the match if they left at the end of the match at least there'd be some honor to that right but like for me the other aspect of that is time so if i know that i have a leggy fight i don't want to create bp inflation against someone who didn't beat me so if you are actually skilled if you can actually beat people this is like a unique problem for a very few people right uh which a lot of people aren't gonna like a lot of people aren't gonna understand but that was actually beautiful. I was totally sloppy. And she says that's sloppy. And then she hits you with the ultimate and he punished me. And that kind of shows that actually showed me. I was like, Oh, okay. He, I could see how he got 26,000 BP with that Karen lingering ultimate jitsu. Uh, good times. I mean, that's been in the games for a long time, but interesting. So like here, I, I definitely tried to amp it up more because I think maybe in this particular situation, I underestimated the opponent a little bit for sure. And, I mean, there's just so much to think about. When you're playing a ranked game like this, it should be the more skilled person wins, right? When you're... You're supposed to do sets of three, and you're supposed to do it over and over again with people to see who comes out on top. Like, have three sets of three, so nine games, or 12 games, right, with four sets. That's what you're supposed to do, and then eventually you don't see that person again, and you're on to the next person, then you guys have sets like that over and over again. But, one, the lag doesn't permit it. So you have to do this really weird thing where you either leave at the end of every single game that it is laggy, but then you're denied your set, but you keep your BP, right? Or you just like every, I'm not going to lie, every single fight that I really lost, or even where it was just a moderate amount of lag, but it was still playable, I, I accept the loss. I take the loss. Problem is, I'm literally not losing most of the time. The only way I'm losing most of the time is if someone rage quits on me, then I didn't win and I didn't lose, right? Or there's severe leg, one-sided leg, right? But most of my wins, right? They're really, really close wins because the system works really, really well. So the thing people don't understand about this system is for all the things that it does wrong, it does really, really, really well, right? And that is that it matches you up with people that are similar in skill to you that you normally wouldn't have got if you were doing the old storm method. So it is really good at doing that. 
But I don't know. My overall thoughts on the experience is is that we're far from where we need to be. Um, we're better at determining who is and who isn't skilled, but at the same time, we're like, it's one step forward and two steps back because... No one is even, people think that when they win, that it's their real win when it was like, you know, they, a lot of times. But then I have a lot of people that I played that they literally clap for me and I win all three sets. And that's fine too, you know, or I win two out of three sets and that's good too. And occasionally you get that, but this was like the negative aspect of it, right? This was like showing you the parts of the game that doesn't make it competitive, right? Right. But still, it's more competitive than Storm 4 on every other Storm game, right? But the thing really holding it back aside from the netcode is the communication and the comms. I can't even message these people. Like that King Trey guy, I can't message him. His, he's pro he muted his communications a long time ago. A long time ago, I could message him. And I even have him, have him as a friend. But the first thing he said, even when I said hi and I was polite, was... So he was really upset and angry just because I'm sure everyone kind of messages him. Everybody messages this guy about his connection. And that's what makes me think, does he just have a bad connection or is he like switching? And it's impossible to know. But if he is like switching, you know, if these people are like switching, like God help them, dude, God help them. It's a, it's a horrible, horrible thing. There needs to be mechanisms in place to, to determine, you know, what is what, because you can't truly have a competitive game. Everybody always asks for stupid things in the surveys. They ask for stupid things for the patches. The stupidest of things. Like, nice quality of life changes, of course. But they're stupid because none of it matters if you don't have good netcode. None of it matters if you, is if you can't explore the beauty and the mechanics of the game. None of it matters, right, if you can't actually determine who actually was more skilled in the fight and who could win and who couldn't win. They did a pretty good job balancing the game. It's a lot more balanced than any other Storm game. They did a lot of good things, but we're not there yet to really determine what's what. And don't get me started on specific characters like puppets and other characters that have option selects on their dashes, that have option selects and, and have, you know, stronger mechanics, inbuilt mechanics, than, and no other characters can actually use that. And then if you somehow beat them, they tell you that you're kind of picking on them. So it's just, it's just crazy. The whole thing is literally just a shit show, you know, it really is. And I'm going to try to focus on the positive. I'm going to try to focus on showing you the really, really good gameplay, but this is like actually the experience. I waited for an hour and 20 minutes to get no one except for that one guy, Bloodhorn. Bloodhorn that just rage quits all the time. I have to fight this God of the Valley guy that is literally probably leg switching me. If not, somehow he's got like a Bill Gates, Steve Jobs, T1, T3 internet connection with terabytes and terabytes of downloads and uploads. And I have to fight fight on a, an amazing ethernet connection. It's the best of the best, but it's not a business T connection. You know, who knows, dude? Who freaking knows? But it if it is peer-to-peer, -peer, that could explain a lot. If it is just the bad netcode, that explains even more. It's crazy, but uh, I will show you, you know, I did show you the first thing, which was that amazing, um, that fight, right? And I, I'm probably going to show you now that entire fight to show you what that, what an actual pretty good competitive fight looks like. I did do a lot of dodging, a lot of running, uh, I would say, but not running in the sense, it's, I know it's a buzzword, it's traumatic, it carries a lot of loaded connotation to it a minotaur runners and all that but minotaur is a lot weaker in this game than he was in past games his resenkana he has no jitsu you just grab and you combo and if you're facing someone like ishiki you have to dodge the entire time otherwise you get double grab which is what happened to me but i still came out on top there's a lot of beautiful games a lot of beautiful sets i'm going to focus on that but these types of things i have to keep making this video to create awareness i'm the only person that does and we did make a breakthrough about a month or two ago, and a lot of people understand what I'm talking about now. Have you ever been like switched? Tell me in the comments below. Not who hurt you, bro, but who likes with you, because that's vile and that's abusive, bro, if they did. But uh, like I said, I don't know for sure. But dude, if, if they are, man, 
God help those people because that they're the most vile and disgusting of human beings in terms of in the gaming space, like switchers. They're just vile.